Uh, it looks like it's 5 p.m. outside and my makeup looks like I'm about to go to a festival in the springtime, so I don't know what to say. Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome if you're new to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and today we are doing something super fun. I am playing with pastel colors because it is springtime and I just want to swarm you with spring content. I love it. I love it so much. And I decided to create this look right here for you today. Pastels as always are super in during the springtime, but this year pistachio is one of the colors where pistachio mint whatever greeny pastel shit is really in lately uh, for this season. So I decided to create a look surrounding it. I've seen a lot of people doing things like this on Instagram So I felt really inspired and decided to do my own version of it. This is a really easy look I literally use one shadow for the eyes. The face is really minimal. It's really glossy. It's really fresh So it's super easy if you're in the mood to reflect spring on your face I literally just spit out so much saliva. Oh my god Anyways, if you're in the mood to look like you're enjoying and loving your life during the springtime, I definitely recommend you keep on watching this video. But before you do that, make sure to subscribe if you love super easy and real makeup content. If you've uh, pressed the subscribe button, we can now move on to what's on my face. Okay, so to start off the face, let's uh, notice that I just uh, gave birth to two huge breakouts because they wanted to be part of this uh, filming experience, so... Don't mind that. Despite my uh, face being really blemishy right now, I'm not gonna do full coverage. That is not who I am. That is not what spring wants from me. So we're gonna go in with a light base, something that's glowy and uh, very dewy because that's the look that I wanna go for. So to start off, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion as my primer. This one is in light glow. Highlighting all my zits right now. So now we're gonna go in with foundation. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Face and Body. This one's in C2. I love this, use it all the time. And I'm gonna use it firstly with my hands and then I'm just gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. Okay, so now that our skin is evened out, I'm gonna go in with my RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer again. We just wanna, you know, even out the skin. I don't really wanna hide the fact that I have uh, dark under eyes. I've not been sleeping well, so you know, I have a little more than usual, but this is just gonna make sure that they're even. They're a little covered, but not so much, and the texture of this is also really, really easy. So I'm gonna go in with my finger and apply this all over the under eye. I'm just gonna go into the Beauty Blender to get rid of some of the excess product. Now I'm gonna go in with powder. I'm using my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in Light, and I'm just gonna be really strategic. I'm just doing all my T-Zone basically because I get really oily in those areas. If you don't need to, you know, set anything, you don't feel like you get oily throughout the day, that's even better because then you'll be dewy all day long. So just grab powder as you need to, and I'm just gonna, you know, hit the areas that I really, really just need to stop from getting a bit too greasy. Okay, so now we're moving on to our cheeks. I'm not gonna be doing any bronzer today. I just wanted to look fresh and very bright and colorful, so no bronzer. I'm just gonna do some blush and highlight. And for my blush, I want something peachy. I know it isn't necessarily complimentary with like greens, which are the colors that I'm gonna be using right now, but I like it. So I'm using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. It's beautiful, it's a little bit dark, but it's still really bright and I really love it. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this and I'm gonna put it all over my cheeks. Also taking it up a little bit onto the temple just to add a little bit more sculpting without having to add any bronzer. And uh, this might look like a lot right now. It looks a little crazy, but when we have everything, it's gonna look a little bit less bad. Plus, blush is the first thing to fade. So I always like to add a little bit extra at first, even though I look like a clown because who cares? Cool. For highlight, I want to keep that like glossy theme, like really dewy. I don't want anything that's super shimmery. I don't want that. I want it to look very natural. So I'm using my Glossier Halo Scope. I'm going in with my finger. This is in quartz, by the way. And I'm just uh, applying this to the high points of my face. Mm -hmm. 
great now after we're all done with that the skin is complete I'm just gonna apply a little bit of my all-nighter makeup setting spray you know just to set this layer of makeup and then we'll move on to the eyes Today I'm playing with the Magic Hour Eye Palette from Ohai. It's beautiful, it has a lot of pastel iridescent colors that are perfect for spring. And I'm mainly just playing with this one right here, the mint one. It's called Peridot and it is gorgeous. So. I'm gonna be applying this all over my eye. This is gonna be a really, really easy look with only a few shadows, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. As a base, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I'm just only applying that to the crease, and then on the lid, I'm going in with a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Flux. Oh my god, I've had this forever. It's a mint shade, and it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this as a base for my lid. Wow, and honestly, you could even just do a look with this. Looks sick. Okay, so I'm going in with this Morphe S11 brush. It's a little bit uh, dense and kind of flat, but also a little bit fluffy. So it's going to help us pack on and blend at the same time. And I'm going in with the shade Peridot right here. This one right here. We're going straight in, you guys. I'm just going to set the lids and bring it up to the crease. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is looking so cool. I've been seeing a lot of people doing this on Instagram, so I've been really inspired by them and just wanted to try it out. And I am really surprised. This is amazing. Okay, so now with a clean blending brush, I have this huge one because I couldn't find another one. I'm just gonna blend away the edges. Now, I just want to add the tiniest, tiniest bit of definition with Siren, which is this really dark shade right here. It looks kind of gray, but it is also a little green when you swatch it. Actually, it's not that green. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of it and see how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, that barely, like, literally didn't do anything, so I think we can just skip that part and uh, just do Peridot, which is going to be even easier for you guys because... It's literally one shadow. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the lower lash line and I'm also gonna be adding the same color to tie everything in together. And I'm gonna go in with an angled brush. This is a weird ass Real Techniques one, which is really thick. And I'm just gonna wet it a little. You could also put down the uh, ColourPop base shadow that I put on before, but I just want it to be a little bit less uh, intense than the other one. It's a little bit more green when you Wet it. So now that we've got it all over our lower lash line, as you can see, the eyes looking a little weird, a little naked, and uh, not defined. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a brown liner to the top of my lash line, and also I think on the inner rim to add a little definition. This is a random one that I've had for 10 years. Uh, you can use something that's a little less expired. As you can see, that makes like a really, really big difference, but it still looks a little naked. It is time for mascara. I'm using my love of my life, Maybelline Total Temptation, What's New? I went a little heavy on the lower lashes, but I really just like how that looks with the contrast of the mint green. I think it makes everything look really put together. As you can probably tell, this look is kind of messy. This eye look, I didn't really do anything precise. I didn't over blend anything. If you're not into that, then you're probably not gonna love this, but you can obviously structure it as you wish. I just really enjoy how this looks because it's fresh, it's easy, and uh, it's fun. So let's move on to the lips. Okay, so now for the lips, since this look is really, you know, the focus is on the eyes. The eyes are the whole focus of the look. Everything else is looking pretty natural. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lip gloss. So I'm just gonna be lining my lips with my Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in 020. And for lip gloss, I wanna match like the peachy tones of the blush. I'm using the TG Luxe Lip Gloss in Knockout, which smells like heaven. I'm really feeling myself right now, even though it doesn't look like spring outside because it's really like, it looks like it's 5 p.m. right now. I'm really enjoying this look. I might look a little crazy to some, but I really love this. Let's set everything in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter and uh, let's finish this up. Okay, so now that I've zoomed you guys a bit in, uh, I love how this looks, honestly. This skin's really fresh. Uh, as you can see, the blush went down a lot. So if you wanna add just some more blush, for shits and gigs, you totally can. Love how fresh the skin looks. I love the eyes. They're the easiest thing. I literally used one shadow for all over my eyes. The deepening shade didn't really work, but I love this look so much. So easy, so perfect for spring. You can pair it with a nude color and you're set for life basically. So I'm really enjoying this. Love it, love it, and I hope you do too because this is just 
<sighs> it's great. It's great. Okay, you guys, we're done. What do you think? Are you into it? Are you loving the eyes? Are you loving the skin? Let me know because I am really feeling myself right now. Oh, wow. If you guys want to recreate this look, please make sure to send it to me on Instagram. I really want to see you guys' version of it. I think it's really easy and it's super fun. So, yeah. Hope you guys feel inspired enough to recreate it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It gives me a lot of feedback. And if you're into super easy and real makeup content, don't forget to subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot. Thank you all so much for clicking on this video. It means the world. And I really hope I see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. I got lip gloss all over my hands again.